cool. All right. Well, are you? Would you like to share your screen with me now? Sure. Okay, so this is the program that we use. It's called ACOTAR. And so when you log in, it comes up with this um, dashboard and it shows you who the instructors and the teacher's assistants are that you can access. So I'm gonna just go to the class. And when you come into the class, you see down the side, there's the navigation on the left hand here. And so you can see the different sections that you're in and the um, topics that are covered. And so like right now we're in section five and so I'll just go there and you have um, a section here where you have exercises that you can go into. And it's so like here I can see there's exercises that I can download and reading that I need to do. And when I've done that, I can mark it as complete, which is nice because then I can kind of keep track in the UI where I'm at. And then we do weekly, um, we do two weekly set classroom sessions. And then those classroom sessions are posted in this location here. So I can click in here and I can, I can see them again. So if I want to go back and look at something that I looked at before, it's accessible, which is very nice. And then you'll see um, one of the things that they added was this section task list, which I like. So when I go in here, what it does is it'll show you for the section, all the lessons that you have. And then um, what, like the readings that you have. So like if I click on this, it'll open up the PDF so I can read it online or I can print it out if I want. And I'm old school, so I still print. Um, but then it'll show me the videos that are available. And then if I need to take a quiz, uh, then that's available. And what I like about this is that when I start my section, I know all the work that is there that I need to get done. So then I track that and I try to figure out, well, how much work do I need to get done each day so that I can get it done in the time period that they have allowed. And so if I go back to, um, the list, you can see they have like the date that it's due here so that you know, okay, I have to have everything for this section done by this time period. And you can see my check marks are great green that I've gotten that completed so I can keep track there, which I really like. That's so cool. And so, um, so which section are you up to right now? We're in section five. Okay. Right cool. now. And maybe you could just show, if, is it possible for you to show me actually go into one of those little um, lessons and show me what it looks like? Sure. So like if I go into, um, well, here's like the, so like here what will happen is you'll have the videos. So you, they give you the reading and I sh kind of showed you that. And so then here's like a video that they have. They can just hit play and show you. So some of the videos, are you code along things some of them are like this where they're doing an interview mm -hmm. oh, i'm just looking for a student right now oh, there it is awesome do you find sally smith's record for me oh that's cool is it a little is it like a little role play thing yeah so like this one is like a role play one where they kind of go through and they they kind of do interviews every once in a while it's like an interview so i'll stop this one and then um and then others are where they're actually, so like here they're doing, let's look at this one and see. So here then they do the coding and you can code along with it. Cool. That's awesome. Yep. So it's actually quite nice because they have, diff, you know, they have a lot of different ones. And then the other things that they'll do, like we have these quizzes that you can go into and um, let's see if I can find a quiz. So I've already taken this one, but when you go into the quiz, They'll ask you questions like I've already done it. So I, this is like in the review mode, but they'll ask you questions like what's the proper way to create an anonymous type in the code and then you select and then you submit it and go on to the next thing and they keep track of the score. So like you get done and they can tell you, well, this was your score for this quiz and you can actually go back and review your questions. So that's nice as well. That's really cool. I like that. Um, and you were mentioning before that you do have like um, scheduled classes where everyone joins in. Are those video 
lectures as well delivered through this platform? They're actually, um, I, not even, it's kind of like the, like what we're doing. It's, um, they send us an email and we then there's a link and it's a live training. So then this instructor is running the program and we can ask questions either through hip chat or we can ask questions directly in the classroom and then we can see and then they record it so that we can see it later and then they put the recordings here in the ACOTARC pro program. Oh that's really cool. Um, and then you said that you would you communicate through hip chat. Yes. Um, are you able to show me what that looks like? Sure. Let me just get that open here. So here's hip chat. Cool. So you can see when you look at this now, like all these people in the green are online. And then you can see the chats. And it's nice because you can search through all the history. And they have a lot of um, different groups that are set up and you like if we wanted to we could set up groups with other students so that we could talk to each other directly um, and that was one of the other things i really liked about this program um, you know it's called the software guild and they look at it as an apprenticeship and they've had commented you know once a guildie always a guildie and so we'll have access to this forever and so we can communicate to people and ask questions even once we're done with school and they'll give us access to more groups once we're done. So I thought that was really nice because when you're doing development, it's always helpful to be able to um, communicate with people online and know how to ask questions and get good responses. So that's one of the things that's nice. That's really cool. That's so cool. Um, um, and when you're working on like, like um, um, projects yeah, yeah. or assignments, do you, do you work on them through the platform you were showing them before, or do you do those on, on a different um, piece of software? I actually, um, we're actually using Visual Studio to mm -hmm. do our coding work. And then once we have our coding work completed, we're using Git Bash and to um, upload our stuff. And we're using Bitbucket. And then we use Jira to track issues. And then we use Crucible to submit code reviews. Okay. Cool. Um, and I was wondering if, like, how you found, how different you found using Software Guild's platform from kind of free online resources that you might have used um, beforehand? Well, actually, um, Crucible, Jira, and uh, Bitbucket are all free resources. Oh, cool. And so I think the way those work, is that they can be free resources that you can use or your company might use them and um, then they would they would have you know, like own a particular location where their stuff is protected um, i know i think jira is one of the items we used i mentioned it to somebody at work and they said oh he's i've used jira and he used it at another company uh, and i think that's one of the things again that i like about what the what um, the software guild is doing is you know we have to have a JIRA issue for tracking our work. We have to use that issue number when we check in our code. And then we, when we request a code review using Crucible, and those that um, process is the same process that you use when you're actually in a development area. Our company does the same thing. We just use Visual Studio and Team Foundation Server to do that work. So it's really nice, they, they're teaching us the process that we would be experiencing once we get out into the real world. That's so awesome. That's very cool. Um, and I was wondering if you've had a, a favorite project or assignment you've worked on that you might be able to show us. A favorite? Um, well, I I think that the one. I guess I, I don't know if I'd say it's a favorite. It was a hard. Okay. But what they had us do, and this was another thing. Um, the first set of assignments that they had us do, they had us create the logic for 100 methods. And they had written unit tests for each of these methods. And then our way of knowing that it was working is to run the unit test so that they would pass. And that was to teach us just kind of the basic um, understanding of C-sharp. So the next uh, work that we had to do is they had created a battleship program where they created the business logic 
uh, behind the UI and had that all completed with unit tests. And then we had to create the UI portion to make the game work. And it was interesting because when they did that, I was like, well, that's totally typical. Going through and learning development, you're never going to go into the world and start from scratch. You're going to be going into someone else's code. And so what they were doing was teaching us how to learn how, co how existing code works and then how to work with it. And so um, I will open up that project and just I can show you. Um, So again, even this version of, of Visual Studio is a free version. Cool. So what they, what they had done is they had created all the business logic, the business logic layer, mm -hmm. and it was working and they had provided unit tests for us that we could run so that we could debug through it to figure out how did the business logic layer work. And then we had to create the UI portion of it. Okay. And one of the requirements that they had for us was that when we created it, we they wanted us to have like a game management and then displays and have the um, logic that was for the display where you're asking for input be separate from the game playing the actually the game management and so it was teaching us the basic idea of model view controllers and so everything that we do i when i'm when i'm looking at it i can see how they're starting out small but they're it's building the process and the thinking which i like and so with this one, we had to create that. And um, we were learning, there's a lot to learn about C-sharp. Like, you know, you have to learn how, okay, if I have this method and it returns something, well, I have to have, you know, a field that it catches it. So just all the concepts of C-sharp are really well learned through the way that they have things set up. And I really appreciated that because a lot of times I'm like, well, don't I have to have something here? And they're like, yep. And so it's really nice. And I can just, I mean, I can show you the working project, but um, I don't know if people actually want to see the Battleship game. <laughs> um, maybe you can just, if you have a, a link to the working project, you could send that through and we could link to it in the, in the article. Um, I actually don't have okay. any way for you to access that. That's okay. That's all right. Um, I mean, if it's, if it's, is it easy to show us the working one quickly? Sure. Okay, that would be great. So it just starts out yeah. asking if you want to play. Cool. Oops. Okay, let me try that again. Then at here, I'm going to uh, put my ships on the board for the player one. Okay. Cool. Oh, that's really cool. On the top of an existing ship. So I had us to test that to say, you know, make sure you're not going over the top of an existing ship. Make sure that it's actually on the board. So if I say, okay, I'll try that again, and then go and say, if I do, say, um, I go up. So it tells me, oh, wait, you went off the board. Oh, uh, cool. So, I mean, it just kind of goes through the whole the whole process. And that was one of the things that was really interesting. We had, we when we were working with this, we had to learn how to loop through arrays, we had to learn how to demonstrate it, and we had to. They actually had us create a board where we could show hit and misses. Cool. So if I can get all my pieces on the board, so how long did you have to to do this project? Um, well, we had three weeks to do this project to get it initially submitted for code review and then another three weeks to have it completely done and considered meeting their expectations. 
Cool. That's awesome. That's that's pretty fast. That's very cool. Well done. Yeah, it's it's a lot to get done in the period of time that they've given us, but it it is doable. It's just it's a lot of work. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for showing us um, all of that. It's really cool to be able to get an insight to what your learning experience is like. It's very cool. Mm -hmm.